Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect your Kubernetes cluster to Azure through Azure Arc. Azure Arc extends Azure capabilities to on-premises or any outside of Azure environments and this is my second video that I'm doing on Azure Arc. You can go ahead and watch my first video. In that video, I'm showing you how you can connect a virtual machine that is running on outside of Azure to Azure and then I'm showing you how you can install extensions and how to run custom script extensions and things like that and please go ahead and watch it. I'm giving you a better introduction there to Azure Arc. Now the focus of this video is showing you how to connect a Kubernetes cluster running on a non-Azure environment to Azure. An Arc enabled Kubernetes allows you to connect non-Azure Kubernetes clusters to Azure. This could be an on-prem environment or another cloud service provider or the Kubernetes clusters that you have hosted inside of Azure in a virtual machine. You can connect everything to Azure through Azure Arc so that you will get observability of those Kubernetes cluster right inside of your Azure portal. These Kubernetes clusters are known as projected Kubernetes clusters and these become a resource inside of your Azure portal. You can use tags are back and they're going to be a resource manager ID and this has a managed identity. You can manage your Kubernetes clusters easily on Azure and not all regions support this and there won't be a cost if you're not using GitOps. Now as you can see on the screen I have this virtual machine and I have installed Kubernetes in that virtual machine and also I have added this alias so that I don't have to type kubectl. As you can see we do not have any pods and now let me run this script here to see whether this works. My Kubernetes cluster, let me paste this. All right, as you can see, my pod just got created and it's running now. Now let's do a port forward to see whether that is actually running or not. Now I'm going into Internet Explorer and all right, as you can see, my app is running in my Kubernetes cluster. Now that we know we have a running Kubernetes cluster, a working Kubernetes cluster, now let me go into Azure portal and show you how you can connect, how you can create a projected Kubernetes cluster on Azure. Now let me first create a resource group for this. Let me call it Arc, Arc Demo. I'm going to go with East US region for this and then I'm creating this resource group. All right. Now let me create Arc enabled Kubernetes cluster on Azure. I'm going to search for Arc and then we have Kubernetes Azure Arc. I'm going in. As you can see, it's showing me few requirements that I need to fulfill to connect my Kubernetes cluster to Azure. A Kubernetes version and access to ports 443 and, and 9418. Let me click next. We can specify the resource group and then we can specify the cluster name as well. Let me add something like this here. For region, I'm going to go with East US region and this cluster is not behind a proxy server. The tags, I'm going to keep this as default and then we have this script. We should run this script on the machine that is connected to the Kubernetes cluster and we should have already logged in with Azure CLI as well and I have already done that. If you haven't, you can copy this as well and you can paste this there. But since I do have logged in, I'm going to just copy this and run it. And before that, we need to have few things installed in this Kubernetes cluster. And I have added all that into this script. I will be linking this down below. You need to have these extensions installed and also you need to have these providers installed as well. Let me see what happens if I run this again. Now I'm going to stop the port forwarding that we have done to test my Kubernetes cluster. As you can see, I have already installed all these extensions and I have installed this provider as well. Now let me go back into Azure portal and then copy this script here. And what this will do is it will first set my subscription and then it will connect my Kubernetes cluster to Azure. As you can see, it is specifying the name of the cluster and the resource group that it is in. Now let me copy this and then I'm going to paste it here. As you can see, this operation might take a while. Let's come back after like five minutes. All right. As you can see, the script ran successfully and connected to Azure as well. Now, if I go into Azure portal and 
Click next. The verification happens and the Kubernetes cluster was successfully connected to Azure. Now we can go to the cluster. As you can see, we have the projected Kubernetes cluster on Azure and the status is connected. And it is also showing me the last connectivity time and information about distribution, agent version and Kubernetes version and things like that. Now if I go into workloads, we'll be able to see the workloads that are running in my Kubernetes cluster. But in this case, I cannot see them because we have not authenticated Azure to get those information. For that, we need to add this service account bearer token here. For getting that, we can use this script that I have prepared. What this will basically do is that it will create a Kubernetes user account and it will return the access token. Now let me copy this script here and then I'm going to the cluster. I'm going to paste this script. All right, as you can see, we have got the token. Now let me copy that and then I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to click sign in. And as you can see, it is showing me the deployments that I have in my Kubernetes cluster. And we can filter this by Azure Arc. And Azure Arc has already deployed a lot of to my Kubernetes cluster so that it can manage that cluster. Now, if I go into pods, we can see all the pods that I have in my cluster as well. And this one that we have installed in the beginning of this video is also shown here. Now, if I go into that, we can see some information about it, the pod IP, start time, status and all that. And here you can view all the information that you can on Kubernetes web UI. We can see the services as well. Now, if I go into extensions, we can install extensions on our Kubernetes cluster for running application services in it, like the app services that I mentioned earlier, and data controllers, and key vault secrets providers, and event grid Kubernetes extensions. And these are the things that you can run on the Kubernetes cluster. Now, in this video, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how you can connect Azure Monitor for monitoring your Kubernetes cluster. I'm going into Insights here. And then here, as you can see, the status not onboarded. I can click on configure Azure Monitor. And then we have to specify a log analytics workspace for configuring this service. I'm going to go with the default service that we have here. And then I'm going to configure that. All right. As you can see, we have successfully created Azure Monitor extension. The status is onboarding in progress. Now, if I go into extensions, you will be able to see an extension has been deployed into my Kubernetes cluster and the install status is unknown. Let's wait for a couple of minutes and come back when this is ready. As you can see, we have connected Azure Monitor to the Kubernetes cluster, but no data for these items here is shown yet because you'll have to wait for around five minutes until this gets updated. Until this gets updated, I'm going to share with you the scenarios and why you would want to connect your Kubernetes clusters to Azure. With this kind of a setup, you can deploy apps and configs to these clusters and you can deploy Helm charts, you can deploy IoT workloads to the edge. And as I have shown you, you can deploy Azure Monitor for monitoring your Kubernetes cluster right inside of your Azure portal and you can create alerts based on the monitoring and you can use Azure Defender for protection of these Kubernetes clusters. And as I have shown you in my last video, you can use Azure policy for managing compliance of these clusters as well. And with application services, you can run app services, function apps and logic apps in these Kubernetes clusters and you can manage them in Azure portal. And that is the topic that I'm planning to do in my next video of this series of videos that I'm doing on Azure Arc. All right, as you can see, some numbers coming up and we have node count and that is one and we have pod count as well. We have 20 pods running here. And if I go into reports, we have a lot of information about the disk and the GPUs and all these information about my Kubernetes cluster. Now let's see if I click on disk capacity, let's see what we have there. As you can see here, we have two disks in my cluster and we have one disk that is healthy. And these are the information that you can find in this monitoring section. And here we will have a list of nodes if we have multiple nodes connected to this cluster. And since we have only one node, we can see that here. 
and we can see a lot of information about the containers that are running inside of this. If we go into containers section, we have the list of containers and we have the container that we have deployed in the beginning of this video as well. Alright, in this video I wanted to show you how to connect a Kubernetes cluster that is running outside of Azure to Azure through Azure Arc. And then we saw how to install extensions, we installed Azure Monitor extension and then we saw how to weave these information about your Kubernetes cluster right inside of your Azure portal. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today. I will see you with another video like this. Thanks for watching.